Hello everyone, welcome back to Country Mom Beauty. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you. It's going to be my January favorites. I'm gonna try in the year of 2015 to release my favorites of the month because um, I get these beauty boxes and things in the mail and I've gotten a couple comments on whether I like this or like that. So I'm going to throw in my favorites and of uh, the month in there of the boxes as well and I'm gonna do these videos with a little bit of makeup a little bit of skincare and a little bit of something extra so um, there might be some crafting things in there there might be some art in there like today as you can see back there or there might be something else like that books or something like that so obviously skincare and makeup is my main focus of my channel but there's more to me than makeup even though I have a lot of it on <laughs> So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. Today is February the 4th. I'm going to try to load this video for you tonight. That way we won't be so far into Jan um, February that you won't know what my January favorites were. So without, again, further ado, here I go. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I received as a Christmas present and it was purchased for me and I fell in love with it. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. And it's this, it's this picture right here. This is so gorgeous. I'm going to show it to you. It's metal. Number one, how awesome is that? It's metal and the, it's a print on metal. It, it's not show up in camera how beautiful it is. This is an actual photograph taken by a man. Um, his name is Chris, and he owns Ohana Productions, and it's an Etsy shop as well as um, a photographer. He's a photographer, and he's super talented, as you can see. This picture is absolutely gorgeous. It's on this metal, and it's super light, so you can hang it very easily. I've used these Velcro strips, and you just stick it to the back, and you just hang it on your wall where you want it. Uh, the reason I like this is number one, it's light, and number two, it's gorgeous. It's just this print is just it's just absolutely beautiful on this metal. Um, so his Etsy shop is Ohana Productions on Etsy. I will leave his link below. He has several prints. He also has the ability to print on canvas and also print prints, not just on metal or canvas. And I, I mean, I just fell in love with this the second I got it. It's gorgeous. He obviously is a talented photographer. It's not just some guy taking pictures. It really is good, and all his prints are awesome. He does really good quality work. And I have got a coupon code for you guys exclusively for Country Beauty Mama viewers. It's 15% off. I'll leave the coupon code below as well as the link to his Etsy shop. Etsy shop. Um, the prices vary. This one was $165. It was printed on metal. They start at $25 and go all the way up to $250. So it just depends on what you know, material you want it printed on, and how big you want it, and things like that. Um, the shipping, it doesn't take very long either, so that's also a plus. There's plenty of prints to choose from. He adds them. Um, he's fairly new, and he's continuing to add prints, but let me tell you something. They're gorgeous, gorgeous prints. They're nature prints. They are truly inspiring, and I absolutely love it. It's something unique. Not a lot of people, I've never been in somebody's home that has something like this. So definitely unique, and definitely quality product. So that is my first favorite of the month. And I actually had to take it out, and it was hanging. And I was like, I don't want to take it out. But I wanted to show you. And it's so beautiful, and it's just absolutely lovely. And this is awesome, too, if you are an apartment owner as well, because you don't have to put nails in. You can use the little Velcro strips, and you just stick it to your wall. So it's not like, you know, you're going to ruin your property by putting holes in the wall either. But it's also gorgeous. So next on my favorites. Love it. Next on my favorites is, you know my obsession with my planner you know my Erin Condren planner so this obviously had to make it into my January favorites I got this um I ordered it in December and I got it or no I ordered it in November and got it late December and um this is the first full month I've used it I have loaded a couple of videos about how I decorated it and obviously I love it it keeps me organized and um, for those who don't know what Erin Condren planner is I'll leave her link below there's also a ten dollar um code or coupon or something like that. If you click on my link, you get $10 off your order. But here it is. So it's just my planner and I love it. I write down everything in it and it's my best friend. <laughs> if I don't write it down in my planner, I don't, I don't remember. As well as this is a creative outlet for me. I can decorate, as you saw in my videos, I can decorate, um, you know, the, the pages of it and make it fun for me. So it's a fun way to stay organized and I absolutely love it. I take it everywhere with me. So it is one of my favorites for January. I'm sure this is going to be my favorite all year, but I will only put it in my January favorites I promise maybe 
So absolutely a favorite of January. So the next item we're going to talk about is makeup. So we're going to start with eyes and I am wearing these shadows today. It is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill set. So if you do not know who Jaclyn Hill is, she is a YouTuber on YouTube as well. I think her site is Jaclyn Hill. Um, she's awesome in makeup. She does really great makeup and this is a set that is all of her favorites from Morphe. For those who do not know what Morphe is, Morphe is an eyeshadow product. They also sell Morphe brushes and things like that. They're very inexpensive. These sold separately are $2 a pop. This set was $27.99 and I think there's a coupon code. If there is, I will leave it below, okay? I'm not 100% sure about that. Now these did sell out. I actually got mine the day it was released online. The site crashed. It's a big big long story but she's bringing it back in February so that is why I'm going to talk about it in my favorites. I hesitated because I didn't know if they were going to be available for you to purchase and I didn't want to show you something you couldn't get but they are going to be back in February. I'm wearing them today. I couldn't tell you the names because there are no names for these. There's just numbers but I'm wearing this orange right here. I'm wearing this color and I'm wearing this color and I'm wearing this color and this color. So um, I absolutely love this palette. They are very creamy, extremely affordable. If you are somebody who has wanted eyeshadows, this is the way to do it. If you're wanting to get bold eyeshadows and not spend the money on an eyeshadow that you may only use a couple times, Morphe is the way to go. But this particular palette is my friend. These are all shades that I can wear as a redhead, that a fair person can wear. These are all shades that anybody can wear. They're absolutely gorgeous. So had to make it into my January favorites. Love it. I find myself reaching for this more than my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which is amazing because I love my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So that is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill set, one of my favorites. The next items we're going to talk about are going to be lip products, and I'm actually wearing them today. And I, I hesitated again to put this in my favorites because one of them I've had for a while and one I've only had for about a, a couple weeks, but I, I'm in love with it. Um, this first product is the Ofra Cosmetics Lip Liner in... Silk. It is a nude, nude, nude lip lip liners right there, and um, it goes with almost all all of my nude lipsticks. I don't think I have one that it couldn't. I have other marks on here on my hand, so is so pretty. And then I got this Ofra Cosmetics. I got this in my BoxyCharm. I don't know what month. And I got this Ofra Cosmetic product in my Lip Monthly bag, and it is called the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach. I'm wearing it today. Obviously, it's a nude, and it is a liquid lipstick, so it does kind of dry. Not matte, but it's it stays on. And look at those two together. They're a perfect match. Um, I'm not a fan of lip liners, so that's why I'm surprised I like this. I mean, I like them okay, but I could go without it. But this is a perfect pair, and I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love this, you know, this, this product right here. It does stay all day. It doesn't sink into my creases. I will notice, though, and it doesn't feel heavy. I mean, halfway through the day, obviously, you're going to have to change. I don't care what kind of lipstick you're wearing and how fabulous it is. You're going to have to, you know, put more on or whatever. I do recommend using a lip primer with this. I have Meryl Norman's Lip Revive or a, a chapstick or something like that. But other than that, I absolutely love it. It came in my lip monthly bag, which... Of my lip monthly bag January and it was actually a good bag which I've been complaining about them lately but this was a good product so these two products are my lip favorites for January I find myself reaching for this lip liner almost daily so yay so the next makeup item we're gonna talk about is eyes I'm gonna talk about a um, product that I got in my very first BoxyCharm box and that is the um, Tar Tarina Tarantino I think it's the eye brightening um, uh, eye dream hyperlight I don't know what it is, but it's it's a pink based, not concealer, but corrector for under your eyes. And it's very, as you can see there, it's very pale, very pale. So somebody um, who is darker than me could probably use this as a highlight. I obviously can't, but I can use it as a corrector. It has pink undertones in it, and it takes away all my redness in my eye, as well as it's very smooth, not cakey, not creasy. Obviously, anything you put in your eye, I don't care what product it is, it's going to crease a little bit. You need to set it with setting powder. But other than that... I mean, it, it does its job, and I got this in my BoxyCharm box. So it's a Tarina Tarantino um, doo -doo -doo, Eye Dream Hyperlite. So I don't know where you can purchase these. She must have a site or something like that. The only products I've gotten from her have been through my BoxyCharm, and I've loved them all. So this is one of my favorites. I've been reaching for this every day. So then on top of that, I normally had been using um, last year was my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but I found it to be a little heavy in the winter, and I'm, I, under my eyes, they get a little dry, so I couldn't use that anymore. Unfortunately, this is like all smushed off because I've used this for a really long time before I got that, and um, it's the It Cosmetics Under Eye Concealer. 
It lasts forever. I want to say this was like $22. I find myself reaching for this almost every day in January. I use this every day in January under my eyes. It is very creamy. You need, I'm going to show you how much I need to do under my eyes so you can realize how much this product lasts. That's it. That's all I need. It's, um, I got mine in the color light and it is very light. I can use it. I have very spare skin. So if you are fair skin, this is going to work really well. If you have older, more mature skin, this is going to work really well. If you have bags on your eyes, which I do, I have four children. Yeah. So this is going to work really well. It also covers up dark circles as well. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it out so you can kind of see the color a little bit. So first, see, now you can see how pink that um, hi highlight is. At first, I put the pink one, and then I put the um, the corrector is what I'm calling that pink one. And then I'm going to put my concealer, and then I set it with a white powder. Uh, Makeup Forever has one. I got one in one of my boxes. I have the Makeup Forever one as well, and I just set it with a brush, and that's it. So I'm absolutely loving this product. The next product I'm going to talk about for the eyes is going to be, uh, I did a MAC haul video and I talked about this product. It's the MAC um, eyeliner. It's the eye coal in Costa Riche. I have been wearing this again almost every day in January. It's so pretty. It's not just brown, but it has almost like a, like a burgundy red brown. I have it on today. It's very subtle, but it's it's absolutely gorgeous for redheads. It's a it's a just a really pretty color for anybody, I think. Um, it's brown, but it's not just brown, like flat brown. It's so pretty. It stays on all day, and I do use it in my waterline on top, and it it stays on. So I do like it. I want to say this was sixteen dollars or seventeen. So it's lasting me a long time. I've used it every day in January, pretty much every video I've had. I pretty much have had this eyeliner on. Okay, the next items we're going to talk about are going to be skincare, and I only have three skincare items to talk about this month. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a mask I purchased. I don't know if this was in a haul video. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. I purchased this at Sephora. It's the Purity Mask. It's Purity Made Simple Mask. It is um, Deep Clean Mask. This was $25. I've had it now for two or three months, but it is. I, I love it. It just cleans out your pores. It's basically a jelly. It looks like Vaseline almost. When you squirt it out, you only need about a penny size and, or a dime size, and you just rub it, and then you rub it on your face, and it turns white. So once it all turns white, then you leave it on for about 60 seconds, um, a minute to a minute and a half, and then you just wash it off. It has a little bit of a warming effect, but not an uncomfortable warming effect, and it just draws all that yucky gunk out. I have found that this in the winter has replaced my Glam Glow because Glam Glow is lovely and fabulous and great, but I can't use it in the winter because it dries my skin out. This is my replacement in the winter. This pulls everything out, and it has great, great ingredients, ingredients in it. Um, so I have actually loved it. I got it at Sephora. It was $26, which is an awesome value because I still have, like, it's still, like, way up here, guys. And I've had it for a while. I use this about two times a week in the morning. You could use it at night, too. I just happen to use it in the morning because my skin has, you know, got all, just to kind of just start clean. But you could use it whenever you want it. So I did like this. And the next item are going to be dry skin items. I have oily combination skin, but in the winter, I mean, it's dry. It just is super dry. So I have um, talked about this before, and this was in one of my haul videos. It's the Josie Marin Argon Oil. It's 100% Argon Oil. This bottle is $16, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I have used practically almost all of this. I've gone through several bottles of this. Um... It does last a while though. It has a little dropper. I use about three drops and I um, apply it to my skin after I um, cleanse. I do not tone in the winter very often because again my skin is super dry. So after I cleanse with I use purity face wash and then I put this on and it just soaks into the skin beautifully. It does not break me out. It makes my skin feel soft and smooth. It helps to me with with the acne. Um, so I'm absolutely loving this product. It's affordable. It's sixteen dollars. Um, and it lasts a long time. So there's that. So even with all of that and using a moisturizer, sometimes I'm still a little dry. I got this mask in my December glossy box. I don't even know how you say it. It's in like French, you know, language or something. It's N-U-X-E Paris Mask Crema something. Anyway, here it is. I'll show you. It came in my um, glossy box. Um, it says 24-hour soothing and rehydrating mask. D-thirst relaxes face and eye. 
So what I did with it, it says on the back to leave on for 10 minutes. I washed my skin and then I put this all over. You just kind of put it on even around your little eye area and you leave it on for 10 minutes and you can either do one of two things. You can just wipe it off or I guess one of three things. You can wipe it off with a cotton pad and just leave whatever's there there. You can continue to rub it in and just let it soak in or you can wash it off. I wash it off um, but I don't wash it off with a cleanser. I just wash it off with water and then I go ahead and go in with my um, moisturizer over it. I use this about once sometimes twice a week and I've noticed a big difference um, the smells okay I mean you know me and my smells I mean it smells mm, it smells kind of old ladyish I'll be real with you but it does work um, and it came in my glossy box so I don't know I'll show you real close up oh maybe I don't know if you can purchase this or where you can purchase it. I know you can purchase it on GlossyBox.com. You can buy, even if you're not a member or you don't get the box, you can buy the individual items. I want to say it was $21 was the retail value, but it came in my box. I'm not 100% sure. So it was anywhere from $21 to $24, but it does work. I like it. I've used it all through January about once to twice a week. I haven't broken out, and it has moisturized my skin and felt very good. So this is one of my favorites for the month. So that was my monthly favorites. I will list all the items in my monthly favorites below. I will also list Chris's um, Etsy site below as well. Don't forget there's a 15% off coupon code and um, I believe it's only good for 30 days. So please check it out. Don't let that slip by and he's absolutely talented. All these other items I will list below with the approximate price um, because again some of this stuff came in my boxes so I'm not 100% sure on the price. So thank you so much for watching guys my January favorites. I will see you again in in February favorites and I will see you again hopefully next week I'll have a couple videos loaded for you I'll talk to you later guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if not uh, have a great day I'll talk to you later guys bye